why did you send the sign-up? Wow, with a big story and long story. You have a time? I have a time. Beautiful. I'm Israeli Jewish guy. I come here in America 2005. I meet my wife, Bona. I have two boys, Ethan and Eliad. Ethan is a special need kid. All my money I put in for Ethan. Therapy, medicine. So I tell my wife, put in Eliad in public. But my wife put him every Sunday in Chabad. And after two years, he come to me, tell me, Abba, I want to go to the yeshiva. And why you need the shiva? Stay in public. It's free. It don't cost money. Abba, I want to go to the shiva. So my wife called five shiva. Every shiva, my wife go. Sometimes wine. I don't want to say the price, but it's like too much money. And I call this rabbi, this rabbi, this rabbi, this rabbi. Nobody helped me. My son want to go to the shiva. Nobody want to open the door for him. And I tell my wife, this time I give another chance. Nobody want to take the yeshiva, that's all. I finish with this. I go inside the academy. I say, my son want to go to the yeshiva and nobody open the door for him. I remember when they came, there was a certain chain that the boy had, and I told the father, I'm telling you, he can make it. Mr. Mel, this is your place. And it took only a few weeks, and the father called us up once, you know, you're making me problems. My son asked his rabbi to photocopy Brachas, and it's on my fridge. He come to me, Abba, I want to the Shomer Shabbat. He tell my wife to Shomer Shabbat. Now Shabbat, he take my phone, he take my wife's phone, and all day talk. He want me to talk. Talk and talk and talk. Sometimes he talk too much, but he talk. He tell me, Abba, keep the Shabbat. Keep the Shabbat. The Kadosh Baruch will give you more power. But it's the Yiddish guy in him that has woken up. He's given him a more positive look on everything. That's what a father wants from a child. He tell me, Abba, the time you put me inside the academy, I feel I'm Jewish. I'm talk about it and I feel like the kid is happy, I'm happy. He's on fire about the school because he sees his son became not just a good, better student, became a better person. His dream right now is to turn his whole family over. I'm happy, my son teach me, because nobody teach me. Maybe Bezrat Hashem, you know, he be Bachur Yeshiva, and I be Rabbi, you never know. I love this Sada Academy.